not every school project that gets dropped overboard, but a watery finish also marks the start of a new life in the bay. Alex Dimitrik reports on the building of a living reef. The ride was a little rough off Tillman Island on the eastern shore, but the cargo was built to last. 140 reef balls made by Maryland and Virginia school kids. First we had to put the mold together and then we had to make the concrete to put into the mold. They thought it was awesome, best day ever, because they could just be outside and doing something cool that they knew um, would help the Chesapeake Bay that we've been learning about. The concrete balls are being used to expand a man-made oyster reef. A hard three-dimensional structure is needed because oysters need to be above the bay's muddy bottom. And that's important for the health of the oyster, to stay away from sediment, to have access to clean water with plenty of food, algae in it. Tiny baby oysters prefer to attach to other oyster shells. So there they are, those little specks. But a new reef has no shells, so the balls were placed in tanks of water and young oysters were introduced and attached to the concrete, up to 2,000 per reef ball. It's a living reef because we're actually deploying it with life, with live oysters on it. And where there are oyster reefs, other life takes hold. And there are other benefits. Because if we don't have any more oysters, we can't eat oysters. Also, they filter the water in the Chesapeake Bay. Up to 50 gallons per day per oyster. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. And the additional reef balls now making the living reef off Tillman Island, one of the largest in that part of the bay.